and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to do something pretty different. And if you guys have ever seen this sound before, please, please, please pop a comment in the, in the comments and give me a link to somebody who has done this before because I would be highly surprised if somebody's been as stupid as me. <laughs> You know what, since I've been watching lots and lots of Mr. Kate videos, um, you know, that What Else Is Possible has taken on quite a weird and wacky, interesting thing. Um, and those of you that have watched some of the Mr. Kate redecoration videos, redecoration, redecorating, um, we'll know that she calls her followers creative weirdos and <laughs> quite honestly I so relate to that term um, and how does it get any better than this now I'm starting out this is a recycled panel this is something I picked up from the thrift shop thrift shop god I'm sounding American now I've been listening to too much Mr. K no um Secondhand store, if you know what I mean. Just pop in and see what they've got going. Um, I have gessoed over the print that was on there already. And now I am using my, um, what we in the acrylic pouring industry, huh, industry, we're an industry now girls and boys. How does that get any better than that? Um, what we call negative space paint um, and that is primarily because it is paint that is just background paint it's a background color but you don't really want to have especially not when you're recycling a painting like a paint canvas like this you want it to look painted even though you're leaving it white so for my negative space paint I um, go to Bunnings Bunnings is a local hardware store big chain thing that we have going on both in Australia and New Zealand um, not sure if they're anywhere else they should sponsor me um, anyway wouldn't that be cool? What would it take? Um, and I grab the spring paint. And spring is, um, it's made. Ah, where is it? I saw it the other day. Oh, doesn't matter. It's a very cheap indoor, outdoor acrylic paint or latex for you Americans. Um, and by very cheap, I mean $40 for four liters, whereas it's, um, the other brands start at around $80. Um, no, sorry, $40 for 10 liters. Whereas the other brands start at $80 for 4 litres. So, yeah. Super cheap. How's it getting any better? Um, now, all I've done is I've put a layer of this. Now, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol, which is a paint conditioner, and water, which comes out of a tap. And um, this one, I also add in some PVA glue or polyvinyl acetate, as Americans have been known to call it, um, which is the long version of the word. Um, 
and that just stops it from going super weird. Alright, so now that I've got that, some of you are going, yes, Michelle, we all know, we've all done this, there's nothing new about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. But wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. We'll throw in some Ginsu knives. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands. I've set that over there to dry. It'll dry as much as it dries in the next few minutes and that doesn't actually matter. So. So, the next step in this process that I'd like to show you is an empty toilet roll. Now, just just bear with me. Bear with me on this. Um, some of you are going, she says pouring on a toilet roll, and now she's going to do it on an empty toilet roll. Yeah, right. I'm, hmm. Hello. Be patient. So, what I need to do is shrink this down so that we'll fit inside another toilet roll okay just like that and I'm gonna get a little bit of tape and one, of, one day I'm gonna buy a new tape dispenser and it's actually gonna rip the tape properly when I want to use it ah! guess what I'm doing some of you have already guessed some of you are like what is this weirdo doing? So see how it's just overlapping just that little bit to make that smaller. <laughs> Alright. Next. Put that one away. Next mystery item that we haven't used on this channel before. It's cling film. Cling wrap. We call it glad wrap here in New Zealand because most of us do. Because glad was the only brand of it for a very long time. So, so what I'm doing next is I'm going to cover the end. Of that okay and we're gonna wrap some tape around it oh it's shrunk more is it no I don't know Eek. goodness gracious me Was, what are you doing I don't know. <laughs> Quite often I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's okay. Because here comes the next one. Ooh. Gross. Ta-da! A real live roll of toilet paper. Real and live. And that didn't really work very well. Target was to fill in the hole. Did it work ish? Not really. Oh well. That's okay. So. Just want to make sure that that comes away nicely. Yes, it does. Bum, bum, bum. What are we going to do next? We're going to pick some colours. Colours. I've been mixing. I've refreshed a lot of my stocks. So I have some grass green. I have some orange. I have some Payne's grey. And I have... Ooh know what we could do Let's see how much we've got left 
<gasps> iridescent medium. Yummy! I love iridescent medium. Sparkles. That's what it does. It makes everything sparkle. Sparkly shoes, sparkly t-shirts. So this stuff is magic. I love it. There are a lot of brands that make it. Um, personally, I all of my paints here today are Reeves paints. Um, Reeves fine artist quality ones even. And the cool thing about Reeves Fine Artist paints is that they are they have very fine particles in them and so as you spread them out through dilution through putting the flow troll and water in it they don't lose their well the fine particles don't become grainy looking so I'm gonna zoom you in I've got my little tin and I've got my colors. Um, that put just a little bit of white in the bottom. Just because I can. It's not very runny. It's freshly mixed. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to add some lubricant. Something that will make it all go all yummy and fizzy. My husband's home, yay! <laughs> Alright, so what's my lubricant? My lubricant is Durex Play Perfect Glide. Why? And this is a brand new bottle, so you guys can actually read it. I haven't covered it in paint so much you can't read. Ingredients. Dimethicone. If you're going to buy something from this particular aisle of the supermarket or pharmacy or wherever else you're going to go and buy it um please 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 read the ingredients because some of them have really funky ingredients and um those ingredients include aloe vera and alcohol and all sorts that's a bit runny not runny enough for me um and so you don't get a pure silicon still not runny enough i've just mixed these guys and what i find when i mix my paints you leave them for 10 minutes or so and then recheck the consistency because they start to thicken up there we go you see that runny honey so we're going to put some silicon in there lots because there's lots of paint in stir that through you don't want to stir too much once you put the oil in otherwise it emulsifies um, and our iridescent medium give it some sparkle and let's see how thick our Payne's gray is That is looking fine. Just going to put some around there. And then a little bit more white. Yee -hee. And then a little bit more orange. Drizzle. Drizzle, sizzle. And then I'm going to put a big dollop of green this time. Whoop. And last but not least, some more Payne's Grey. Now, some of you are expecting me to move back over to that big 
nice, happy, shiny, freshly painted canvas. Some of you are going, she's not going to. Really, truly, she's not. No. They're the ones that are telling the truth. They know what's happening. All right. So I've got my lids on everything so I don't splash paint into them all. Really important, guys. Do not splash paint into your paint. It's not a cool thing to do. Where's my lid for my iridescent? Oh, it wants to play. Okay. It wants to be in there. It wants to be emptied. There we go. So, all I'm going to do is do that. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh my God, I've got a toilet roll full of paint. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. All right, let's let it out of the bag. See what colors it's going to make it. Oh, suction. All right, it's dribbling down the sides. Let's see what's happening with cells. Any silicon coming up, or is it all just going straight <laughs> down? Let's see. Okay. Where did all my orange go? Down the sides, okay. Now, before I get too much more of a puddle sitting around this, I need to do two things. One is get rid of this centerpiece. And two, using my chin, start to unravel. Ah, no! I didn't think of that. Popolopagus. Hmm. No, this is not working. <laughs> okay, what can we do with this? Or it completely dissolves inside itself. Hmm. What do you reckon? My pretty artwork. I don't like it. It was fun though. <laughs> So where's the next piece of toilet paper on this? Where does it? Where is it? Where does the, where's the edge? There? No. Yes.
Okay, this wasn't the plan. Let me let you in on a secret. The plan with this was I was going to pour it on top and then I was going to unwrap the paper and drape that designedly down the thing and then just have the toilet roll sitting in the paper at this end with this drippy. But I forgot about the fact that it has serrations and it falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. What else is possible? Um, now, if you've watched my channel, you'll know I'm not very good at swiping. So Using a toilet roll is probably the most accurate method of swiping I can think of, to be honest. Um, it's just... Right. I'm going to straighten this up a bit and bring this back out a bit. Um, get rid of this toilet roll. <laughs> Thank you, toilet roll, for coming to play. <laughs> oh, I've got some of you shuddering at the thought of wasting a whole toilet roll. But anyway, it did its job. Not the way I wanted it to do its job. But, you know, that's one of the things about being in business. Um, is being willing to employ others. I can't believe I'm having this talk. Being willing to employ others and allow them to fail. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to clean my hands again. I'll be right back with you. All right, so clean hands again-ish, sort of. Um, next step is to get rid of any air bubbles and invite any more silicon that would like to come and play. We already have some silicon popping up, but I'm going to see what else is happening in there. And then once we've done that, then we can see what else needs to be done, if anything. So there's not much silicon, silicon action happening, but there's some funky shapes and designs and stuff going on. There are a few bits that I want to clean up though. Um, hey, my hubby's coming to say hello, hello, hello. Do you like my toilet paper painting? I love it a whole lot more than what toilet paper normally gets used for. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that's why I deliberately chose green and, and, and paints grey instead of brown. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Or Ricketts paint, yeah. Ricketts paint. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys know where I get my sense of humour from. My sexy husband. <laughs> There are a couple of spots that I feel I want to play with. Um, and one of them is here. Now that's coming through around there.
Some of you already know I have a bit of a, a thing for curls. But I'm going to be good and I'm not going to overdo it this time. Honest. <laughs> Had a chunk in it. Now, I don't love this bit here. What does it look like up from up there? Hmm. It kind of looks like a molten greenstone carving. <laughs> if you if you know anything about New Zealand, one of um, one of New Zealand's symbol things that we have is the Maori carving greenstone and um, what I'm seeing is greenstone forming itself into anyway that's just me being me really um i'm kind of at that point where i really would like to do stuff but i really don't want to do it either because i know i'll stuff it up so i'm actually just going to do one more thing and that's over here in this back corner let's just check you guys can see what i'm doing i've just picked up the tin Drag that up there a little bit. There's only a couple of paintings that I've ever signed while they were wet. But this one wants to be one of those. if I can get the eight. Kind of looks like an eight. See, I screwed it up. Oh, well. I didn't ruin the whole painting, though. That's a good thing. The only other thing that is bringing my attention is there's some colour seepage from the previous painting. Um, 
so once it's dry I will probably go back and just do a little bit of touch up and I really don't want to touch it right now she says touching it and adding in color where she didn't want color see I don't want to want means to lack I don't like lacking so I did it anyway silly me all right what's right about this I'm not getting Leave it alone, Michelle. Walk away. Walk away. I like it. It's weird. It's wacky. And it's made with a toilet paper roll. That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, guys. Normally I say reuse, recycle, but definitely not in the case of toilet paper. Do not reuse toilet paper, okay? Um, not a cool idea. I'm going to give this one more go over with the, um, torch. And then I'm just going to leave it to dry. I'm not even going to move it. Oh, suddenly the cells have decided to come to visit over here. Maybe I'm getting a little bit warmer than I did before. Alright. Stop fiddling and get the people down to have a look. Yay! Alright. Okie dokie daddles. Let's start from the very end. <laughs> Look at my signature. It looks funky. How cool is that? So there we go, guys. Look. Now, this is the patch that I don't particularly excitedly like. But that's only because it looks scraped on the edge. Whoop. I don't know which way to go on this because there's so many. This cell is so weird. Check it out. It's kind of gone oblong. Oblong. I wonder. I wonder, wonder who. Oops. Some funky bits. Following around. Look, there's all those new cells that just came up. Literally, just then when I torched it. And then we've got... Swishy wishies. Some new cells in here too, I reckon. That's so funky. I think I'm going to take some photos of this. This could make cool material. Whee! And then just a little bit of interesting bits. Those are the, some of the originals. So Totally not what I had planned, obviously. <laughs> I had planned that the toilet roll would still be in the middle of that. But uh, it's not. And I love it. It's like a green serpent intertwining with its lover. Um, it's like vines climbing a white tree. It's like all sorts of weird and wonderful wacky things. Tell me down in, the, down in the comments what you think it looks like, what you can see in it. Um, and I'm going to let it dry. And once it's dry, I will be back to show you. Oh, I didn't show you this funky little bit down here. Look at this. 
Look, 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 look. I like that. It's pretty. I don't know why I like it. I just do. Um. So yeah, I'll be back in your time in three, two. Well, I must say it didn't dry as I'd hoped. <laughs> but on the other hand, I absolutely think it dried beautifully. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Check out all this cracking. This is weird. Now I have never had anything with this much cracking in it before. So I really don't understand what's going on with this. Uh, maybe it didn't like toilet paper, but I doubt that that's the case because it's cracked in places where the toilet paper wasn't. But what I find really, really interesting is that the way the cracks have cracked, check this out, it's gone round in the circles. Now, I'm wondering whether I left the white too long before I added anything else. Check it out, it looks so cool. <laughs> the other interesting thing is it has actually only cracked where there was a dark colour in the underpainting, like the original vinyl. So check out over here, you've got where the tulip was, and then you've got no cracking on the side. And then it goes darker above the tulip there, and it's cracking again. Um, and the same down here, it's really patchy where it's cracked, and it's only where it was a light colour. Same over here, check it out. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. So if anyone can explain that, please let me know in the comments. And I actually still like it. It's it's weird. I am going to varnish this. This is going to get... I am going to seal this. And um, so if it tickles your funny fancy thing, and you want to own this weird one, let me know. Touch base. Um, I really like it. It's weird and cool. So, anyway, if you're weird and cool like me, <laughs> or just like having fun with acrylic pouring, come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Um, tomorrow is the first day of October in New Zealand and I will be presenting to you dun, 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 la, 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 the October challenge so if you're in the Facebook um, in the group then come play with us check it out and how much fun can we have in October that's 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 so cool if you're not in the group and you want to be come join us Acrylic pouring for fun. Oh, and new news. I'm on Instagram. I've just created an Instagram account for Mickey Art. Oh, finally, you know, we get it when we get it. So I will be posting, as I paint, I'll be posting on Instagram. So you can find out what I'm painting in the moment, rather than having to wait two, three, five days till it's dry and posted on YouTube. So if you want to stay tuned with that, you can find me at Mickey Art, all one word, on Instagram. Come play, have fun. What else can we create? I adore you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.